Welcome back to Tom's Life. Today's Christmas special is fruit cake. So the ingredients you need are plain flour, butter, brown sugar, eggs, icing sugar, one orange, one lemon, cinnamon, mixed spice, baking powder, salt, dried mixed fruit and cherries and vanilla extract. So first step, we're going to prep all the ingredients and going to start out weighing out the plain flour. So first step, you're going to weigh out your plain flour. You'll need 228 grams. I'm using my talking scales. This is one gram. Just tap it in. So just keep adding till you get to 228. Just going to take a little bit out. It is two hundred and twenty-eight grams. Spot on. Once you have weighed out two hundred and twenty-eight grams of plain flour, you're going to get a big mixing bowl, and you're going to place it all in. You want to give it a good tap and get all your flour out. So next step. You're going to weigh out 100 grams of brown sugar. I'm using my talking scales. Gonna take a little bit out. It is ninety one grams. It is ninety eight grams. It is one hundred grams. Spot on. Once you have weighed out one hundred grams of brown sugar, you're going to get a saucepan and you're going to place it all in. Just like that. So next step, we're going to prep our eggs. You will need three eggs. You first want to give it a little crack. Break it down the middle. Catch all the shell. And drop it into the bowl. I'll show you again. So you first give it a little tap. Break it down the middle. Drop it in. Be careful to catch for all your shell. You'll do one final egg and then you'll give it a good whisk with your fork. 
So after you have cracked your eggs, you want to get your fork and start giving them a little beat and whisk. Move it on a little angle if you want. And you're just whisking them all in. This will be our wet ingredients, our raw egg. So you're just giving it a good beat for a minute. So next step, you're going to start grating your orange for your orange sauce. So you're just going to get the grater until we move it up and down. Just keep turning it. So just move it up and down. Be careful on your fingers if you go too near the sharp blade and just keep moving it around you just want the flesh the white pieces you don't want any of the white skin so you just keep turning it And then we'll do the same with the lemon. So as you can see, you've got nice grated orange sets on your chopping board. You're going to pick it all up and you've got a bowl and you just want to place it all in. Now you're going to grate your lemon sets using a grater. So you move it up and down. Now you're going to place your lemon pieces in with your orange. So you've grated your lemon and orange. This will give flavour to your fruit cake. So your next step, you're going to switch your hob on. Want to set it to medium heat when you've got a saucepan with your brown sugar and butter just place that on the ring let that just heat up for a minute or two while that's heating up you want to preheat your oven using my bun and tell me which one is the oven and you want to set this at 160 I have set that at 160 degrees let that just preheat while you make your cake. So you want to start melting your butter and sugar. I chop my butter into little pieces so it's more easy to melt. So you're just turning it around so it all melts on a medium heat. Then you're adding your mixed fruit and cherries and add a little bit of water. And then you just want them to cook keep stirring them and then you'll take them off the heat and then you'll place them in when you have finished doing your dry ingredients but you just carefully want to stir all your butter and sugar in together first now you want to add in your cherries into your butter and brown sugar Get them all out. Just give them a little bit of a stir. And you want to add in half a bag of mixed fruit. And then you want to carefully give them all a good stir in. And then in a minute we'll add in a bit of water. And then you just want to carefully cook these. 
and then you'll take them off the heat to let it cool and then you'll add it into your dry ingredients. Now you want to add some water, cold water to your pan. Add it in about 180ml and you just want to carefully give that a little bit of a stir in into all your fruit, cherry, sugar and butter and then you just want to keep that on a medium heat for a minute or two so they start to cook your fruit and cherries and your sugar and butter as like soaked into the water and made like a syrup and then we all take it off the heat and add it to our dry ingredients so you now want to start adding all your dry ingredients you want to add a pinch of cinnamon a pinch of mixed spice A little teaspoon of baking powder and some ground salt just a little bit of ground salt And then with a knife, you just want to give all your dry ingredients a little mix using a knife. While your cherries mix, dry mixed fruit and your butter and sugar just peeling down. You don't want them to be hot when you put them in the dry ingredients because you might split the cake if you had it them in when they are warm. Now you want to put in your sexed orange and lemon into your bowl with all your dry ingredients. And then you want to give that a good stir too. In. Give flavour. All the nice smells. So you're just giving that a little bit of a stir in. Now you want to pour your eggs into your dry ingredients. You also want to add a little bit of filling extract. And with a knife, you just want to give that a little stir in. And in a minute, when it's nice and cool, you're adding your, your syrup, your dry mixed fruit and cherries. Now you want to put all your fruit and syrup in. Get it all out. Once you've got it all out, you want to give it a stir in. Don't forget we've got raw eggs in here now, so don't lick it or you might get salmonella. And the mixture might look a bit wet 
but when we put it in the oven to cook, it will rise and all the water will solve. So you just get round the bowl carefully. So now you want to start pouring it into your, your cake tins. I have greased it with a little bit of butter. So when it cooks and comes out, it doesn't stick. So you're just going to carefully pour it in. Now you're going to place it in the oven to cook for 30 minutes. So you place it in the oven to cook for 30 minutes on a high shelf. Close the door and keep an eye on it. When we, we when it's cooked, we'll put some icing sugar on top. So this is how you make my fruit loaf. When it's done, I have sprinkled a bit of icing sugar on top. Before you let it, before you cut it, just let it cool down, and you serve it how you want. Hope you like making my fruit cake. Don't forget to hit the like button, share and subscribe, and thank you. Thanks for watching. Hit the like button if you like this video. Don't forget to subscribe, more videos coming soon.